Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to do one end to end Azure Data Factory project. So this is a delete file scenario project. So let us first understand the business requirement. So it is saying like we have a data coming into the blob storage account. Suppose we have one of the blob storage account. In this blob storage account I have one of the container. The container name is input container. In this input container we are continuously receiving a data from my external resources. So these are the external resources we have which are dumping our data continuously into this input container like a dot csv b dot csv like that the multiple files we are receiving into this input container c dot csv like that the multiple files every hours we are getting a data from our external resources so we have one of the storage account in this storage account we have an input container in this input container we are receiving a every hour multiple files into this particular input container now what actually we have done we have also created one of the pipeline what this pipeline is doing this is a picking a data from this input container and it is copying into the azure sql so we have also created one of the pipeline which is taking a data from this input container and it is copying into the azure sql now our requirement is like we had to delete all the files which is older than seven days so all the older than seven days file we have to remove from this input container Otherwise, we, if we will keep on storing into this input container, then it will be very huge after two years, three years, right? And it will be it will be costly also. And we are all already running one of the pipeline which is taking a data from here and it is copying into the Azure SQL. Then in the two place storing the data, it's not a good way. So what actually we are doing? If any file which is older than seven days, then we have to delete a file from this particular input container. So I have taken a seven days. There may be a multiple scenario. It can be a 31 days. If the file is greater than 31 days, then we want to uh, delete. If the file is uh, suppose one, if file is older than five hours, then we want to delete. So multiple scenario can come. Here I have considered if the file is older than seven days, then I want to delete from particular container. Our pipeline should run and it should delete all the files older than seven days. So this is the scenario we have. Now let's think about the solutioning part. So what actually we will use? First we will use a get metadata. With the help of the get metadata, what are the files are available? We will try to read with the help of the get metadata. From and these are the files we have and what was their last modified date. We'll also get to know what was their last modified date. Last modified date. So if any file will come, there will be one modified date will be mentioned there. So with the help of the get metadata activity, we can fetch this modified date. So first we will use a get metadata because we have a multiple file. So we are using a for each activity. Now this file we will pass one by one. We will also check if the file is older than seven days. If the file is older than seven days, then we will give one condition and that file will come into this uh, delete activity and it will delete that file. So we will use a get metadata activity. We will try to read all the files and we will put one condition. If their last modified date is older than seven days, then what actually we will do? We will pass into the delete activity and we'll try to delete. So this is the practical we are going to do. So there here I have considered last seven days, but the scenario can be for 31 days for last one hour. Everything will be same. So let's try to see how actually we can solve this so for this i am using a one hour so if the file is older than one hour then i will try to delete that file so that is the practical i am taking but i will also show you if it is older than seven days how actually you can delete for the 31 days how actually you can delete so let's do a practical so i uploaded one file i have created one storage account in this storage account i have one of the container input container in this input container you can see i have a multiple files now you can see one of the column it is saying like modified this modified days is saying like on the on what time this files has come so you can see this files has come on 3 3 pm this department also came on the 3 pm employee 1 employee 1 1 this i have uploaded on 1 53 pm means this file came on the 1 pm so what i have done i have uploaded this file First I have uploaded on 153, then I have uploaded on the 33 pm. Now what actually I want to do? I will check. Now current timing is 335, right? If the file which is older than the 
वन आवर देन आई वॉन्ट टू डिलीट ऑल द फाइल सो वाट विल बी द ओल्डर दैन वाट आर द फाइल्स विच इज ओल्डर दैन वन आवर यू कैन सी दिस फाइल्स राइट वन फिफ्टी थ्री वन फिफ्टी थ्री वन फिफ्टी थ्री दिस आर द ओल्डर फाइल्स दिस आर द ओल्डर दैन वन आवर्स ओनली आई एम टेकिंग कंसिडरेशन बट सिमिलर थिंग एक्चुअली वी कैन चेक फॉर द लास्ट सेवन डेज ऑल्सो सो फॉर डूइंग अ प्रैक्टिकल आई एम टेकिंग इफ द फाइल विच इज ओल्डर दैन वन आवर देन आई विल ट्राई टू डिलीट दैट ना लेट्स ओपन आर डेटा फैक्ट्री फर्स्ट विल क्रिएट अ पाइपलाइन न्यू पाइपलाइन एक्टिविटी गेट मेटा डेटा ड्रैग इट हियर इन द सेटिंग फर्स्ट विल क्रिएट अ डेटा सेट अवर फाइल इज अवेलेबल इन अ ब्लॉब स्टोरेज आई विल सेलेक्ट द ब्लॉब स्टोरेज क्लिक ऑन द कंटिन्यू इट इज अ सी एस सी फाइल क्लिक ऑन द कंटिन्यू विल क्रिएट अ लिंक सर्विस विल सेलेक्ट द सब्सक्रिप्शन विल सेलेक्ट द स्टोरेज एंड फाइनली विल क्लिक ऑन द क्रिएट विल सेलेक्ट द फाइल पाथ वेयर अवर फाइल इज अवेलेबल सो यू कैन सी इनपुट कंटेनर वी हैव इन दिस इनपुट कंटेनर वी हैव ऑल द फाइल्स Now what we will do? We will select the field list. From this field list, we will select the child item. Means all the files we will select. Now you can see filter by last modify. This is the one of the column we have. In the storage account, you can see we have a modified column, right? So this modified column actually here we can give a condition. So what I will take? I will take end time which is older than the one hour. If I will take. then that one will be deleted so i'll click on the add dynamic content we have a one of the function add we have one of the function which says the add days so we will use add days and also we have one of the column which will tell me like the current time so what actually i'm taking from the current time i'm if i'm using minus 7 so in this case what will happen it will uh, it, it will take the files which is older than the 7 days if i will use 31 then it will take all the file which is uh, older than the 31s so like that actually it will take now in our scenario what we want we want in our case we want a last hour right so for last hour also we have one of the thing you can see add hours so in this add hours from the current time which is a utc now this is the utc now i'll select i will say minus 1 so it will take all the files which is older than minus 1 hours so this is the scenario i have given now if i will try to debug this we should get only those file which is older than uh, last 1 hour Now, if you can see, we are getting employ one dot csv, employ one one dot csv, employ two dot csv, employ location dot csv. Now, here if you will see, employ one, employ one one, employ two, employ location. These are the older file one fifty three, right? We are not getting this department and department dot csv because this is the current hours time. Means uh, this is the latest file we have. Th this file we don't want to delete. We want to delete only the file which is older than one hour. similar operation you can perform for the last 7 days last 30 days similar condition now after that what we will use we will use a for each we'll pass one by one all the files we'll select this in the setting sequential item we have to select all the child items now here we will add the activity click on the activity we will use a delete use a delete activity in this delete activity source first we have to create a data set so our data set is blob storage link service as i select this input container click on the okay now what we will do we will click on this open this data set we have created right click on the open this file name click on the add dynamic content and here what we will do we will create one parameter first so click click on the parameter new we will give the parameter name as a file name go to the connection and here we will select the parameter which we have created 
so this we have done now we'll go to the pipeline you can see this file name right in this file name in the delete activity we'll add the dynamic content and whatever the from for each item we are getting right we will select that click on the ok now our pipeline is ready we are taking all the files which is older than one hour from this get metadata we are passing into the for each activity and all the files we are passing through a delete activity and it is deleting those files now let's debug this please select a link service for the logging so go to the logging so this is the this is we are using for the logging now let's click on the debug you can see we are getting one error what is the error it is saying a user configuration issue file name properly to the string type please make sure the payload structure and value are correct so what we will do we will select on this uh, here this delete activity we will select and here we have passed the at the rate item right we have to use the dot name also because the file name we are passing so click on the ok now click on the debug so you can see now it is success why i have used at the rate item dot name if you see in the get metadata so these are the child items so you can see one of the column it is saying name so i am taking only the file name right so that's why i have used the at the rate item dot name now you can see it is deleting all the files from that particular folder so first it is checking if the file is older than one hour then it is passing through a for each through a delete activity and it is deleting all the files you can see it is succeed now now if i'll go to the input container click on the input container you can see all other files got deleted only two files which is left which is a latest file now this pipeline actually we can schedule which will run every seven every day like that you can schedule and you can delete all the seven days older files you can delete from your uh, container or you can delete all the older than 31st day or the if it is file which is older than one year that also you can delete so uh, for everything we have to use the same 